So I thought I'd show my uh, transfer to get onto my chair. And I just want to note one thing, like, um, I kind of noticed this about a couple wheelchair people that they only like transfer off of the chair one way. They only get on and off the chair in one direction. And they probably only buy like one, they only get one break on one side. I don't think that's uh, that smart because you never know what kind of situation you're going to be in that you might have to like transfer a different, in a different side. So I feel like every chair user should be able to transfer left and right and forward, you know, like everything, everything, because you never know your situations. So this is, um, this is, this is the opposite side of where I got down, you know, of how I got down because it's in another video that I showed me getting down unless I probably, I'll probably take that video, that, that segment and add it to this. But, um, yeah, here we go. Oh, so very important. I'm just going to explain. Your feet kind of have to be like this, kind of like this, somewhat like this, and kind of close to the chair. And your butt, you want your butt to be kind of like in line with the chair, right? So what I do is I put my hand on the bar. I, I don't like it up here because it doesn't feel secure. I like grabbing the bar so I can grab the whole chair and I have control of the whole chair. My, my other hand, literally, it goes under one of my butt cheeks, like right under one of my butt cheeks. I don't want to put it too far. I want to put it as close as I can to the wheelchair right under my butt cheeks and then you just go up and that that was actually a really good one and uh yeah so that's it oh screw it. you know what i'll just freaking go down to the floor right now and also when you're going down be careful with the, the surface that your feet are on because if if your foot is like like that and you try to go down and you need your foot to twist when you're going down you might break your ankle or something like that so um i set up my feet in a in, a, in like a position where i would like them to be I, I i scooted up to the edge of the of the chair and now i'm putting my hand down and then i always do these transfers with with a fist every single transfer i do i hold i do a fist on the ground i do a fist on the ground because doing like this hurts my wrist doing like this the wrist stays straight Kind of like when you bench press, you're, you want your wrist and everything in line. You want it secure so the 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 the, straight, the, the weight the weight bearing goes through the whole arm and not just the wrist. It goes all the way through. So I'm just gonna my feet. I'm just gonna leave them right there because that's basically basically where they were. Yeah, I'm gonna leave them like that. Just grab the chair and I have one wheel unlocked just so I could like I like being able to like scoot the chair under my butt even with it with the other one unlocked you could I could you could still do it but you know when you get on the chair it's a little bit nice to have one locked so you don't go rolling backwards and you could just pop back up I was about to do that one with it not so close to my butt but you I mean it doesn't need to be so close to your butt but I recommend it being as close as you can to your butt and that goes for any transfer any transfer that you're going from one to another like whenever I go to the to this to this toilet seat I always put my hand right under my butt and I so I can get the best like leverage and the best use the most of my strength but anyways that's some floor transfers guys